What if I told you that a centuries-old vault in the heart of Russia held secrets that could rewrite history? Indeed, there exists such a vault, veiled in a shroud of mystery and intrigue. This centuries-old stronghold standing in the heart of Russia has long been the source of countless rumors and speculation. Its age, a staggering few centuries. Its location, the bustling heart of Russia. Its contents, ah, now that's where the riddle begins. Whispers of this vault have echoed through the halls of history, each tale more tantalizing than the one before. Some say it's a treasure trove of ancient artifacts, others claim it holds sacred texts, while a few even dare to suggest that it houses the secrets of civilizations long lost. From the cold corners of Siberia to the bustling streets of Moscow, the vault has been a focal point of curiosity and conjecture. The anticipation leading up to its unsealing has been palpable with scholars, historians, and the public alike waiting with bated breath to see what lies within. Rumors turned into theories, theories turned into debates, and debates turned into a global conversation. But all this while, the vault remained silent, its secrets locked away from prying eyes. Yet, amidst all the conjecture and anticipation, one rumor continued to persist. A rumor that within the depths of this ancient vault lay evidence of the black Israelites mentioned in the Bible. Could it be true? Could the vault hold the key to unlocking a chapter of history that has remained hidden for centuries? Now, after centuries of secrecy, the vault has finally been opened, and its contents have left the world in awe. As the ancient vault's doors creaked open, a hush fell over the crowd. They were about to gaze upon artifacts unseen for centuries. The air was thick with anticipation, and there was a sense of reverence, as if the very atmosphere understood the magnitude of what was about to be unveiled. The moment was surreal, almost as though time itself had paused in respect for the past. The initial sight was overwhelming, a treasure trove of antiquity laid bare. The first discoveries were ancient scrolls, parchments that had withstood the test of time, their edges worn but their contents still legible. These scrolls held secrets, stories, and wisdom from a time long past. Each scroll was a testament to the enduring legacy of human history, and it was a humbling reminder of how we are all but a fleeting moment in the grand timeline of existence. Next to the scrolls were artifacts of different shapes and sizes. Some were simple tools, others were intricately designed pieces of art, all of them a glimpse into the past. Each artifact told a story, a snapshot of a moment frozen in time. They were tangible evidence of a civilization that existed centuries ago, a stark reminder of the transient nature of life. But what captured everyone's attention most were the portraits. They were carefully preserved, their colors still vibrant despite the passage of time. The faces in these portraits looked back at us from centuries ago, their eyes holding stories that were waiting to be told. The details in each portrait were intricate, the expressions on the faces so lifelike it was as if they were about to speak. These were not just any portraits, they depicted people of significance, people who played a role in the narrative of the past. And among these people there was a group that stood out, a group whose existence in that era was previously unknown. Their features were distinctive, their attire unique, their presence in these portraits a revelation. Among these artifacts were portraits, portraits that would challenge our understanding of history. The portraits of the black Israelites, unseen for centuries, were about to rewrite the annals of time. The past was about to come alive in ways we never imagined. The portraits found in the vault were not of Russian nobility as expected, but of black Israelites, figures from biblical times. As the dust settled and the initial surprise wore off, a profound sense of awe and intrigue set in. These were not the faces of czars or tsarinas, not the stern visages of Russian generals or the delicate features of princesses. No, these were portraits of black Israelites, figures etched into the annals of biblical history. Each portrait was a masterwork, a testament to the skill and artistry of the painters who had lived centuries ago. They were crafted with meticulous attention to detail, capturing the nuances of facial expressions, the texture of the skin, the fall of the light. The eyes in the portrait seemed to hold a depth of wisdom, and the kind of quiet strength that comes from enduring and overcoming great trials. These were not just images of people, they were snapshots of lives lived long ago. There was a shepherd, staff in hand, gazing thoughtfully into the distance. A prophet, captured mid-oracle, with eyes aflame with divine insight. A queen, her regal posture belying a gentle compassion in her eyes. And a warrior, his face etched with the lines of countless battles, yet with an undeniable peace in his demeanor. The artistry was not the only thing that sparked intrigue. The figures they depicted were black Israelites, a reality that seemed to contradict the traditional narrative of biblical history. These were not the light-skinned, 
blue-eyed figures of Renaissance paintings, but people of color, their dark skin a rich contrast to the bright colors of their clothing and the landscapes behind them. The richness of these portraits, the lifelike quality of the figures they depicted, all pointed to a truth that had been hidden away, locked in a vault for centuries. They hinted at a history that was far more diverse, far more complex than the one we have come to know. These portraits, hidden away for centuries, have the power to change our perception of biblical history. The black Israelites, as depicted in these centuries-old portraits, have a deep and rich history in the Bible. To understand their significance, we need to delve into the annals of biblical history, drawing upon scholarly sources for an accurate depiction. The black Israelites, also known as the Hebrew Israelites, are said to have descended from Jacob's 12 sons, who formed the 12 tribes of Israel. They are believed to be the original inhabitants of the southern kingdom of Israel, and their presence in the Bible is both profound and poignant. In the book of Exodus, the Israelites' tale of liberation from Egyptian slavery is a cornerstone of biblical history. Moses, an Israelite himself, led his people out of Egypt in a journey known as the Exodus. This powerful narrative of liberation, endurance, and faith has resonated across centuries, shaping the collective consciousness of many societies. The Israelites' journey to the Promised Land, their trials, tribulations, and triumphs are all chronicled in the Bible. Their stories of faith, courage, and resilience are woven into the fabric of biblical literature, providing us with a wealth of insight into their lives and beliefs. The kings of Israel, such as Solomon and David, were Israelites and their reigns have had lasting impacts on religious and cultural norms. King David, the second king of the United Kingdom of Israel and Judah, is a significant figure in Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. His son, King Solomon, is famed for his wisdom and for building the first temple in Jerusalem, a pivotal moment in biblical history. Now think about these portraits from the Russian vault. They depict the black Israelites, adding a new dimension to our understanding of the Bible. Could it be possible that these portraits represent the historical reality of the biblical Israelites? It's a question that scholars and researchers are keen to explore. These portraits challenge the conventional imagery associated with biblical figures. They invite us to consider the diversity and complexity of the ancient world. They remind us that history is not monolithic, but a tapestry of different peoples, cultures, and narratives. These portraits hidden away in a Russian vault force us to reevaluate our understanding of biblical history. They encourage us to question, to explore, and to seek a deeper understanding of the past. They remind us that history is a living entity, always open to reinterpretation and rediscovery. The discovery of these portraits of black Israelites in a centuries-old Russian vault has sent shockwaves through the academic world. A ripple effect of intrigue, curiosity, and controversy has surged across the globe, sparking a flurry of debates, discussions, and discourses. Historians and scholars, the guardians of our past, have been stirred from their routine dissections of well-trodden paths of history. The portraits, untouched by time, have breathed life into an age-old narrative, painting it with new hues of understanding and perspective. Some historians have hailed this as the dawn of a new era in biblical history, while others have urged for caution, advocating for comprehensive research before jumping to conclusions. The general public, too, has been swept up in this tidal wave of historical revelation. Conversations and debates have spilled over from scholarly circles into homes, cafes, and social media platforms. People from all walks of life are now engaging with history in a way that was previously unheard of their interest piqued by the mysterious portraits from the vault. This discovery has also sparked a surge in academic interest. Universities and research institutions worldwide are buzzing with anticipation and excitement. Scholars are clamoring to be a part of this groundbreaking research, to delve into the enigma of the black Israelites, and to unravel the secrets that the Russian vault has kept hidden for centuries. The potential for future research is vast and tantalizing. These portraits have opened up a treasure trove of questions, each one a stepping stone towards a deeper understanding of our past. Who were the black Israelites depicted in these portraits? How did they come to be in Russia? What was their role in biblical history? The answers to these questions could rewrite chapters of history, alter timelines, and shift perceptions. However, it's important to remember that each discovery, each revelation, comes with its own set of challenges. Authenticating the portraits, deciphering their context, and understanding their significance in the grand scheme of history will be a monumental task. It's a task that will require collaboration, dedication, and a relentless pursuit of truth. The portraits from the Russian vault have not just unveiled a piece of hidden history, they've also ignited a spark of curiosity and wonder. 
They've reminded us that history is not a static, unchanging entity, but a dynamic, evolving tapestry of human existence. As we delve deeper into these portraits and their implications, we realize that history, as we know it, is ever-changing. It's a malleable narrative, shaped by each new discovery, each new interpretation, and each new understanding. And perhaps that's the most exciting revelation of them all. The opening of this Russian vault has done more than reveal beautiful artifacts. It has opened our eyes to a new understanding of history. Over the course of this journey, we've delved deep into the corridors of the past, unearthing secrets that have lain dormant for centuries. The discovery of the Russian vault has been nothing short of a revelation, a veritable Pandora's box of historical surprises, challenging our preconceptions and reshaping our understanding of the past. We've seen the stunning portraits of the past, the faces of the black Israelites depicted with such realism that they seem to leap out from the canvas of history, demanding to be seen, to be acknowledged. These were real people, with hopes and dreams, fears and sorrows. Their stories intertwined with the larger narrative of human history. The black Israelites mentioned in the Bible were not just abstract concepts, but a living, breathing community. And now their faces look out at us from the past, their stories demanding to be told. The impact of this discovery on our understanding of history is truly profound. It is a stark reminder that history is not a static entity, but a dynamic tapestry, constantly evolving as new threads are woven into its complex design. The ongoing research into the vault's contents promises to yield even more revelations. Every artifact, every painting, every scroll holds the potential to unlock more secrets, to shed more light on the lives of the black Israelites and their place in history. The anticipation is palpable as we stand on the cusp of further discoveries that could once again rewrite our understanding of the past. In the grand scheme of things, we are but temporary custodians of history, entrusted with the task of piecing together the jigsaw puzzle of the past. And with every new discovery, we gain a greater appreciation of the richness and diversity of human history. As we step back and marvel at these revelations, we are reminded that history is not set in stone, but a living, breathing entity, waiting to surprise us at every turn. It is a reminder that the past is not merely something to be studied, but something to be experienced, to be lived. And in the process, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves, of our place in the grand tapestry of human history.